South Asian activism, South Asian women, do not abandon the importance of education such as STEM. It is my current opinion that one thing South Asian women do best is a focus on education, especially STEM education, which stems from South Asian culture. Our ancestors and migrants had to work hard and keep their head down even in the midst of discrimination for what we have now. Look at China and how much progress it has made, can few say that all Asians can do is copy the West when there are things like Genshin Impact, 5G and AMD slash Ryzen, leave the India, South Asian, and Oriental Asian split aside. Although the textile and agriculture industry comes a lot in part from India. This emo, in my opinion, was not born out of PTSD, pointless tiresome spiritual drama, and constant arguing back and forth with your parents, wrecking shit when angry and spending money when angry. Cool down, put some headphones on to avoid conversation but do not do things that you regret in the long run due to the laws of the universe not changing a STEM education can never be taken from you even though there might be an oversupply, disagree with me if you want. In contrast, the whims of culture and art can change here and there from time to time and in reality emo, in my opinion, most people only need to get involved superficially. A STEM education cannot be taken from you so it is good for you very often. Yes, sometimes you feel the pressure to do more education to fit in with others but it can be worth it. You do not need to have an art degree to create damn art, porn, normal art or photography or some other shit, degenerate or otherwise. In this regard do not waste money when you are young which can be done by watching Let's Plays. Similarly, some people may want to go to music festivals when young and may have parents on the authoritative side and wish, why can I not do stuff the other people do, but when you get your own money, visiting one or two, may be okay and after a while you do not feel like you are missing out on anything. Remember that unless your parents take you there you literally have to pack food, check petrol and fill up petrol, drive by yourself on the motorway and then come back, hoping that there is no congestion, weight or traffic, and other stuff. Earning money is another thing since many white folks, I am not anti-white and white people are beautiful as well although I think that white privilege exists, and non-immigrant kids work early but that is because they have to. Many Asians, emo, in my opinion, take the gamble and work and tell their children to sometimes not work so that their children can maximize their time spent studying. I am not sure about this because I do not encompass the entirety of South Asian culture, viewpoints or perspectives although this may not mean that studying is all that you do because in many cases this pays off and being a part of a forum or culture may only take a few minutes a day. How effing fucking long does it take to make a TikTok video mate, at the very least you are putting yourself out of your comfort zone. I have even heard of people role playing to improve their pretend communication and mass play, leave that for another time. Maybe not go overboard one a day is enough since occupation and money is a limiter for many creative types. Music and art helps with cognitive dissonance and stuff but there is always a sense of longing in human existence and you can keep going with infinite art sometimes and not plug it up but it does sometimes improve self-confidence even when you do it once. There is no one transcendent pyramid point, but one of the reasons for this is that human beings are like a paradox machine. We make rational proposals about how to survive in our at times irrational existence in our world that is comfortable compared to ancient times. Challenge me on this if you want. Remember money is important, and the great game of culture is always ongoing. A lot of people want to be pop stars or rappers but sometimes it is best to make a song randomly on YouTube, even if it's SHT and get it over and done with. A lot of people do this and then this kind of stuff loses its appeal after a while, look up the term wanderlust. At the end of the day a crisis is a terrible thing to waste and even the shit art increases Asian or South Asian visibility. If you want to make art even if you make like a brown South Asian stick figure in one minute and post it on a site then that is increasing visibility. My example is degenerate as pornography ruins lives I'm a, in my opinion. Although I won't judge you for it, but visibility is still often visibility. If you want to play it safe you could take pictures of anything, a flower or Hindu statue, I do not know if this is often allowed, 
and put it up as a royalty and copyright free image online, that some activist or incidental creative can use in the future while you sleep. Who knows when? If you really feel that strong about an issue maybe donate back home to India, or an Asian company or something. Though it may be good to check whether it is grassroots or artificial. Please feel free to challenge me your comment.